it's me Brooke and today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys um, for the Beth Murdoch's collection video. I'm going to do it like a little backwards than I just filmed it. I've done this like twice and every time like the phone was ringing or a car alarm was going off or something random like that. So I'm just going to get started with um, everything and see if it works better. So I'm going to start out with pocket backs. Um, I do have a vampire blood from the Halloween series in the... Uh, if you went to the Paris party and you bought the gift bag, then it came with that holder. I can't remember what colors they are, but I have that in my backpack right now. So actually, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight right now, but yeah. And then I also have the blue holder stuff. It's somewhere else. I can't find it. So I have caramel apple. I have groovy grape. Tropical sorbet float. And groovy grape has the little sparkles in it. And they all have the little... um little antibacterial beads. Um, I have Brewberry, which is from the Halloween series. I have Hot Watermelon Cherry, Vanilla Berry Sorbet, and Eucalyptus Mint. So those are my pocket bags. For travel set, well for baby, um, actually I'm just going to show you this gift set. This was my first thing that I ever got. It was a fresh vanilla gift set because I was going through this phase where I like loved vanilla. Like I would buy everything vanilla. Like Vanilla cake, I loved vanilla, the color of vanilla, which is brown, like a tan color. I loved the scent of vanilla, I like everything vanilla, so, and by the way, the lighting's like going crazy right now, so, I have fresh vanilla lotion, fresh vanilla shower gel, and fresh vanilla body splash from Bath Murdoch's Pleasures, and I really like the set, it's a very cute set to get, um, if you, like, have a like daughter or niece or something that would go better did that help probably not um <laughs> but yeah so next for the baby lotions i have these are 350 by the way the pocket backs are 150 but i was at another store and they had them for 175 so i was like what because they're already madly overpriced like a dollar and 50 cents almost you pay two dollars for these things and get 50 cents back i think that is cheap for one ounce I mean, you can get, like, five ounces at the dollar store. And they have pomegranate orange, which smells amazing, by the way. So, these are three fifty, and you can get them for a dollar when they first come out. They're, like, preview size, and they're two fluid ounces. And so, I have Twilight Woods, Wild Citrus Sunflower, which actually wasn't my choice. My mom grabbed it because it was a dollar, and then she gave it to me. Um, Sweet on Paris, which I'm actually going to put some on right now. I usually use this as, like, a hand cream, or I rub some on my arms, just because if you put, like, it all over your body, it, like, smells so sweet, and you, like, can't even stand it. Sometimes, like, when there's, like, overpowering sweet scents, like, if you were to get this in a full size and use it all, um, in, like, two weeks, that would be, like, crazy sweet, and, like, sometimes it gives me a headache when it's, like, really sweet. And then I have Paris and Bloom, which is, like, my favorite floral scent. And these are great to just, like, um, get the full size and refill them, like, stick them in your backpack or your purse or your handbag, your beach bag, whatever, whenever you get, like, dry skin. They're also great to have at work or in your desk at school because, like, when you get, sometimes I get, like, really dry hands, like, right here and in the palms of my hands, which seems really weird, but, like, right there, right here. And sometimes on my legs, too, so sometimes I'll be, like, in, um, like at work, like your parents would just grab a little bit of lotion, put it on, and then you'll be ready. Or like at, if you're at school and stuff. So yeah. So these are great to have too. Next for travel size things, I'm going to try to speed this up because I'm going really slow. Um, for lotions, I have Be Enchanted, which is actually, it's like down to like right, well not right there. It's like down to like right here. But I just shook it up, so shit, shit, shake, and I really like the scent. I took that traveling for like a week when I went traveling, so that's why it's like halfway done. I have Sweet Pea, which is like down to right there. I've used a little bit of it. So yeah, 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 yeah. And these are $5, so yeah. I have Secret Wonderland, which is like my nighttime scent. Japanese Cherry Blossom, and Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which I got in a gift bag. It's really bad lighting, but, and I did use this once. And it was, it smelled really weird. But I like it in the candle that I have. I have, uh, little slippers. Ow. Like I like really itches. I don't know. Um, I have, for shower gels, I have warm vanilla sugar, which I've used once. And this, um, I got for a dollar. These are five dollars each, too. But I got that one for a dollar at the, like, end of the, one of the sales. I don't remember what it was, though. And this one, 
is Carried Away, which I've also used once. And this one is my favorite travel size shower gel just because I want to get it in the full size because like sometimes you could get sick of a scent and I kind of got sick of that scent because um, I have it in the lotion too but yeah but I like it so, so yeah um next for sprays I have travel size sprays I have Paris Amour and Pearl Diamond Art which is my all-time favorite type of spray it smells so good to me my cousin and my best friend both have it and these are six dollars by the way if you wanted to know that I have a sweet pea, which smells really good too. That one's new, and so is this one. This one's bee enchanted, which is great for like, um, well, let me just like tell you guys. The sweet pea is great for like, um, you spray a little bit before you go to sports, or you, um, sometimes what I like to do is I spray it in the morning, just like to wake me up. And Paris is great for like every day, afternoon, lunch, whatever. And then this one is great for like movies, or nighttime, or, um, dinner or wherever like if you're going out to eat or something so I really like that um, fact that you have so many different scents that you can choose up for like every time of the day so yeah and those mix great together if you're just wondering that would be weird if you were wondering that but whatever next for uh, candles I have this one which I turned into like four miniature tarts uh, sweet cinnamon pumpkin which I like destroyed it and I split it into four separate tarts so I could put it in my um, tart warmer thing, and it will last longer than a candle. And then I have Pineapple Orchard, which is my favorite candle. All time. Favorite candle. I love it. This and Marsh Marshmallow Fireside is my favorite. It just smells so good. I don't know why I'm doing it. It's all wet, but... Rub it on myself. Fragrance mist. <laughs> just kidding. That was really weird, but... Yeah, so I have that. And next, I have a random True Blue Mini from the True Blue Spa. And this is in Tahiti Sweetie Nourishing Body Lotion. And this one is super moisturizing. It's good for a hand cream. I don't use it for my body just because it's so, like, thick and rich. So I don't use it for my body, but I usually use it for my face or for my hands. So you just, like, get a little bit and you rub it on your cheeks. It's just so moisturizing. I love this. And I really want to get it, like, in the bigger size if they have it. I think that they don't, but... And this was like a dollar at the end of the sale. Um, next, I have full size lotions. And this is Paris in Bloom. And I love the scent. I'm going to describe the big ones because it actually says the description. A beautiful boutique of pink peony, dewy pear, and blonde woods inspired by the intoxicating scent that fills the air at springtime in Paris. So I love the scent. And like the little miniature one I have, I can just refill it. I can't open it. Mm, I love the scent so much. It's just a great floral scent for every day. And this is the same floral scent for every day. I love this scent. I usually wear this every day, mostly. Well, like, sometimes if I put a spray on, I won't wear this, but... Um, carried away. A whimsical blend of lush raspberries, white jasmine, and whipped vanilla. And this smells just like the description. It, I can smell, like, the jasmine, maybe a little bit of lavender in there. Maybe some, like, daffodil. It's just, like, all sorts of flowers. And the packaging is, like, the cutest thing that you could ever, like, dream of. So cute. And it goes so well with the shower gel. Next, for Bath & Body Works Pleasures, I have two. I have the first one is a fresh peony blend with luscious garden rose and this beautiful feminine interpretation of a classic floral fragrance. This is the classic peony flower infused with real peony extract, whatever. And this one smells terrible. I'm sorry to every... Johnny fan out there, it smells terrible, it smells horrid, it smells disgusting. I literally use this once. And it just stunk the whole house up. It smelled like, oh, it smelled terrible. It was like nasty, gross. So I'm going to give this one away. I don't know if it's because it got spoiled because it says special edition 2004. I don't know if it got spoiled or if it's old or if it just smells terrible. So my mom gave me this, and I'm going to give it back to her. Or sell it on eBay or something for like $5.99 <laughs> or something like that. But yeah, and this is Coconut Lime Verbena. And this one smells pretty good too. Yeah, this one smells really good. It's, it's like the perfect amount of coconut and lime. It says, blend of fresh coconut lime and fragrant verbena warmed by vanilla and musk. And this is a really good, we have this in the shower gel and the scrub, but it's my mom's because she gave me this because she doesn't really use the lotion anymore. And we also have the shower gel in Japanese cherry blossom 
and the shower gel and toilet woods, but that's my mom's stuff, but we like share it, so I can't really show you guys because I don't want to take it out of her shower and stuff. That'd be kind of creepy, but yeah. And the last thing I have is my absolute favorite thing right now is their shower gels and I have them in this really cute bathtub that my mom gave me from Apple Body Arts but she like she got a gift set but then she gave that to me for some reason okay so I have Paris Amour which is a romantic um stroll through the park um inspired by a beautiful blend of French tulips apple blossoms and sparkling pink champagne and it smells so crazy to me it smells so, so good. It smells just like, it kind of smells like champagne in a way. It kind of smells like a mixture of like a few scents, but I can't think of it. Just, sorry, I'm trying to look for the price tag. It's $11, sorry. And that just smells so, so good. I love this. And I've used this once and it just mm, it smells delicious. The next one I have is Be Enchanted, which was my first shower gel. And I've used this once just because um, I, I don't know why. Mmm, this one smells good. It smells like iced pomegranate sugar petals inspired by all that glitters. And it seriously smells just like pomegranate. It does. And at the, it was really weird because at the store, usually by their, like, sinks that they have, they have, like, their new soaps. They had shower gels and scrubs, so I used a scrub for my hands. I didn't even know. I was like, what is that? These don't feel like the beads, like the little beads that they have. They have some of them in the soap. And I was like, I'm using a scrub. That was weird, but... I tried the sweet pea scrub and it actually was really good. And next I have sweet pea, my all time favorite sour gel scent. Clean, fresh, simple, delicious. Mmm. It smells so good. If I like smell the Be Enchanted for a while, it kind of gives me a headache in a way. But sweet pea is just clean, fresh, kind of like how people think of cucumber melon in some ways. Cucumber melon is a really good scent. My mom and we were talking about that. But this one is just fresh and clean and classic. This is like the classic scent. It's actually award-winning sweet pea. Pretty floral scent that ev evokes the intoxicating floral infused breeze of the Mediterranean. Which, that one is just like the best scent that they have created, I think, sweet pea. And actually when I was at the store, it was really weird because they had like, um, it was like the, like they had the building and then they went out and then went like in and out and then check I was there and then they had more scents candles and they had the scent the regular scents and they had like on this wall they had like the um carried away they had coconut lime breeze cucumber melon um and they had a whole bunch of like dark kiss and midnight pomegranate well like stuff like not midnight pomegranate but um sorry I'm trying to touch my hair but um it was really weird because and then they had two of the like two sections for sweet pea which I thought was really weird and like none of it was out so thought that was kind of funky but yeah so anyways that is that and it smells really good so go ahead and try all these stuff and make sure that you guys rate comment and subscribe and i would love to see your bath and body works collections or bath and body works hauls or anything bath and body works um leave it in the down bar as the down bar leave it as a video response down below and make sure to comment and subscribe and comment down below what your favorite product like lotion, shower gel, candle, and your favorite scent or scents. Mine will probably have to be the scent, like the whole entire set of Sweet Pea and Carried Away. I love those two scents. Also, my third choice would probably be Paris Amore. So I love those scents. Make sure to comment down below, rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, word. Okay, bye.